Well, hey, fuckers. Happy Thursday afternoon. All right. It's time for your collective with Classic Tarot. I don't really have a download, so hey, let's figure out what's going on. Ooh. Okay, so we got a King of Pentacles reversed. Long short of that one, he's an asshole. He's very egotistical. Quite the jerk. <laughs> you know, if that's you, sorry. But whoever you are in this collective, you're dealing with a fucking jerk. But here's the weird part. There's strength here. There's confidence for a new love beginning with this jerk. Interesting. This jerk is a very arrogant, egotistical, money-hungry jerk. Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... He's also the king of wands, okay? This is the same person. Very high ego, very impulsive, um, very greedy, materialistic, very good with making money. That's what they focus on. Very determined, has a lot of tenacity to make money, but doesn't really give a fuck about people's feelings in the process, okay? Will say or do anything, don't give a fuck about your feelings. Nope. This one's very attractive. I mean, he's very attractive. He's very sexy, um, very good looking, very charismatic. People flock to him, okay? I say him because there's these are masculine energies, but you could be a female. But whoever you are, there is strength here, courage, and a lot of, you know, confidence that there will be a new love beginning. Like I say, he's arrogant. <laughs> But guess what? <laughs> I feel, this is you. This is this is you all day long, boo boo. Okay, you're you're sitting there contemplating, trying to reevaluate your life, trying to think about what the fuck's going on with this person. Why the hell are they so Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, hot and cold, back and forth? Sometimes they want you, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. And with the Four of Wands reversed, I feel like this person and you are not in any communication you have a misalignment of, a, of your values like you're not meshing well at all oh well that's why <laughs> this person's a liar too so they've deceived you they've went behind your back they've deceived you know there's a lot of deception here a lot of sneaky sneaky okay so this person could be having a tower moment in their life Yeah. Okay. So this person has determination to break free from whatever prison they feel like they're in. They feel like they're bound and gagged. They're ready to break free from it. Okay. And then of course, they're going to come forward with some sort of an offer, some sort of communication, whether it's a message, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a DM or whatever, they're going to come forward and make you an offer. And I feel like that offer is going to be a new beginning of love. And they're building up the courage to do this. But you are not going to be so like, oh, yay, at this moment. Because I feel like you have found out some shit that has pissed you the fuck off. In fact, it's broken your fucking heart. This ripped you in two. Your heart just went when you found this shit out. This, this trickery, this deception. And when you realize that this person was not what you thought, you, this person, you were so disappointed because this person is so not the person you thought they were. Um, you thought this person was different. You thought this person was special. And this person turned out to be just another jackass. But don't worry. Truth will be revealed. Don't worry. It will all come out and you will get your justice. And guess what? This is divine timing at work. This is your destiny. You were supposed to, look, you were supposed to understand and see this shit. You were supposed to find out this information. This is your destiny, okay?